It's a cold and dark winter in Canada. Travel's still looking pretty uncertain with ever-evolving restrictions. And when it comes to credit card welcome bonuses, well, let's just say the sweet summer offers of 2021 are but a distant memory. So when it comes to which credit cards to apply for now in the winter of 2022, it might be time to think outside the box. Could there be a chance that the best credit cards to apply for now are from the underdog big five bank CIBC and the much maligned, much derided WestJet? Hold on, did he just say WestJet? Haha, <laughs> Ricky, it's not April Fools yet. But before you laugh, you gotta hear me out a little bit. After all, we as points collectors and travelers always want to be collecting as many points as possible at the best value. However, right now we're facing a little bit of a lukewarm credit card market that's affected by the uncertainty around travel as a whole. While the big name issuers with astounding all-time high bonuses are taking a little bit of a breather, now's the time to look at underdog issuers like WestJet and CIBC. So, WestJet and CIBC, this is your quarter to shine. What have you got in store for us? If we think about what 2022 travel is going to look like, I'd venture to say that most Canadians are still probably going to feel comfortable traveling domestically or at most to the US, especially during the first half of the year. And here's the thing, everybody in Canada is thinking the same thing. We're all tired of lockdowns and restrictions. We'd all like to enjoy some outdoors adventures this summer in our own backyard. And combine that with the ongoing staff shortages and operational challenges at the airlines, hotels, and car rental agencies, and travel is set to be just as expensive this summer as it was last summer, if not even more expensive. Now's the time to start thinking about getting some credit cards that will help you offset the high costs of North American travel this spring break, this summer break, and all the times in between. Which brings us to WestJet and CIBC, two of the best examples of issuers that have stepped in this quarter to fill this role. Now, don't get me wrong, WestJet is still very much in the doghouse when it comes to their WestJet Rewards loyalty program, because they abolished their previously very valuable loyalty program in mid-2020 and have yet to bring back anything meaningful to the same degree. And that's likely to remain the case for quite some time. However, there is still good value to be gotten from the WestJet RBC World Elite credit card, especially when it's putting on a welcome bonus as strong as it is now. Until February 28th, 2022, you'll get 450 WestJet dollars as the welcome bonus. That's 250 WestJet dollars upon first purchase and another 200 WestJet dollars upon spending $5,000 in the first three months. Plus on top of that, the first year annual fee is waived, and this special offer is only available through a dedicated landing page on the RBC website that is accessed either from an email that you got directly from WestJet, or, I mean, from clicking the URL that's available in the description below. That's right, it's one of those situations where the promotion appears to be geared towards email recipients. However, historically speaking, anybody who has the URL that the email links to can actually use it to apply because that page says the terms and conditions. Now, since WestJet dollars have limited upside in the current program, you can basically think of them as $1 towards the cost of the base fare of any WestJet flight. Essentially, if you pick up 450 WestJet dollars from this offer, you can think of it as $450 towards your next WestJet flight. Beyond the welcome bonus though, where this card continues to deliver value for WestJet travelers, <clears throat> in spite of the weaker loyalty program, is in the ongoing benefits of the card when flying with WestJet. One of the best benefits is the annual companion voucher that you get every year for holding onto the card. This companion voucher typically requires the second passenger to pay a $119 base fare when the first passenger pays full price, but right now, if you sign up, the second passenger only pays a $0 base fare, so they only pay the taxes and fees on the ticket. It's very much a competitive response to the Air Canada Body Pass on the Aeroplan Co branded credit cards. On top of that, you've got a free first check bag for yourself and up to eight other passengers on the same reservation just for being a card holder. That can always add up to substantial savings, plus free Wi Fi connectivity when you're flying with WestJet through the Boingo Wi Fi benefit as well. So that's what we have from WestJet. Now let's take a look at what another program that has been uninspiring over the past couple of years has in store for us during this winter season. I'm talking about CIBC and their in-house loyalty program, CIBC Aventura Points. There's an interesting redemption special going on, which gets even more interesting when you combine it with a unique welcome bonus that's on the market on a very limited time basis. Now, CIBC Aventura is one of those points currencies in Canada that you can collect a lot of points in, but often don't have an optimal use case for. If American Express and Aeroplan were the apple of your eye, then CIBC Aventura would basically be a side piece. Normally, if you wanna use your Aventura points to offset any travel that you charge to one of your CIBC Aventura credit cards, 
you can do so, but at a very poor rate of 0.625 cents per point. However, during the first half of 2022, CIBC has decided to mix things up for the first time in a very long time. With this promotion, you can redeem half the usual points required to offset a travel purchase on your CIBC Aventura credit card, which means that the value in doing so automatically doubles from 0.625 to 1.25 cents per Aventura point. And that's actually pretty respectable, like it's pretty good. Again, you can use points to offset any travel purchase charged to your card. You don't have to book through CIBC's own travel agency as you normally would. This makes it one of the best ways to use Aventura points at a cash-like value. And in my opinion, it's a great way to liquidate any Aventura points you have right now, plus take advantage of any special offers that come on the market. And now let's talk about one of those special offers, which is again, a mysterious landing page for the CIBC Aventura Visa Infinite card that's not accessible through the public CIBC website if you just wanna to navigate to it, but it offers a spectacular elevated offer of 45,000 Aventura points upon first purchase with a first year annual fee waiver. That's right, no fee in the first year and no spending requirements to get the bonus either. It doesn't get much easier to get a credit card bonus than this. The low hanging fruit, as we call it in the community, does not hang much lower than this. And just how much are those 45,000 Aventura points worth? Well, if we keep in mind the 1.25 cents per point redemption option and do some quick maths, that's gonna be worth $562 and 50 cents of travel purchases that you charge to your card. Now that's not too bad to cover a weekend trip or two, isn't it? Now here's a word of warning about this special offer for 45,000 points. As I mentioned, it's not publicly accessible on the CIBC website. Instead, it's a special landing page and actually the terms on the landing page itself have already been changed to match the public website. However, if you begin the application, the terms still say that you'll get 45,000 Aventura points. So that's in fact what you should get because that's what the terms and conditions say. If you're watching this segment, it means the offer was active by the time the video was published. So I hope some of you are able to get in on the offer for yourself and many members of your household to snag that $500 plus welcome bonus as many times as you can. Now, those are two of the underdog credit card offers and points programs that I wanted to give the spotlight to in this video. However, perhaps you're somebody who's just ravaging and relentless about racking up those points with frequent flyer partners and transferable points like American Express, Aeroplan, RBC, Avion, British Airways, Avios, and so on and so forth. So for you, I've got a few reminders of excellent credit card offers during this winter season that you absolutely won't want to miss out on if you haven't applied already. In no particular order, make sure you hit up the trio of RBC Avion credit cards between the Visa Platinum, Visa Infinite, and Visa Infinite Privilege, all offering 35,000 Avion points with no minimum spend. The HSBC World Elite MasterCard offering up to 100,000 HSBC HSBC rewards points. That offer has been extended now by a couple months, ending on April 4th, 2022. And the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite card. And if you're somebody who prefers Aeroplan points over a buddy pass, then specifically look for the in-path offer, which only shows up when you search for a sample Air Canada flight booking on the Air Canada website. You'll get 40,000 Aeroplan points plus a $150 statement credits towards Air Canada purchases. And lastly, if you're chomping at the bit to apply for some premium credit cards with American Express and Aeroplan and rack up some of those big welcome bonuses, I'd actually recommend waiting a little bit if you're not in a big hurry, because I think we'll see some major welcome bonuses later on this year, just not necessarily now during this uncertain winter period. If you do need those points urgently, then consider getting the personal or business gold card by American Express. It's a good idea to go for these bonuses that are close to their all-time highs, especially since American Express welcome bonuses are once in a lifetime. And if you found these suggestions helpful so far and would like to find out when even better offers are available, then do me a favor and hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on that video when the better offers drop in the future. So with all that being said, WestJet and CIBC both have credit card offers that'll deliver you at least $400 in value this quarter, which on their own makes it very appealing to apply, especially with the spring and summer of very expensive travel otherwise on the horizon. However, I do think there's also a bigger picture reason why we should be applying for these low hanging fruit offers when they're available, especially from some of these underdog banks and issuers. Let me explain to you why. Back in the summer of last year, I had written an article on princeoftravel.com called Canada's Big Five Banks, Are You Going to Let American Express Win? Basically, American Express and Aeroplan had came out and just utterly dominated everybody with their credit card offers back in the summer. But now, in this sort of winter lull period, we're seeing Canada's big five banks answer that question with a no, we're not just gonna sit by and let American Express win, but that no 
is pretty tentative. RBC with WestJet and CIBC with the Aventura program are making these calculated small moves on a limited time basis and through limited channels. They're not ready to take big risks just yet. So the point of all that is if we as credit card enthusiasts want to see a competitive credit card landscape in Canada over the next few years with bountiful bonuses that we can collect left and right, then we have to play our part. When we see Canada's big five banks following American Express's lead and putting out these elevated offers, albeit very gingerly, very tentatively, we have to encourage them to keep this up by applying and by grabbing all this low hanging fruit that's hanging in front of us this quarter in winter 2022. And hey, if ultimately we still need an insane amount of points to fund our business class and first class flights to the Maldives, then rest assured that American Express and Aeroplan, like I said earlier, still have our backs and I'm sure they've got some very strong offers in the pipeline for later on in 2022. And with all that being said, with the Canadian credit card market sitting in a relatively lukewarm phase during this winter of 2022, now's perhaps the right time for you to get started with US credit cards if you intend to ramp up your travels in the next few years. And you can go ahead and check out our video right here for a full guide to getting US credit cards for Canadians if you'd like to start building up your credit card strategy on both sides of the border.